Hi, this is Heather Smith, and I want to talk to you about setting up users in Xero. To set up users in Xero, go to uh, Settings, then click on General Settings, and underneath Organization, you'll see Users. So click on Users, and here we are at our User Dashboard. To invite a new user, come to the top right side and click on the green button, Invite a User. You are taken to the Invite a User screen and uh, you have the opportunity to enter their details. I'm going to scroll down the screen so you can see the options I have for giving them access and restricting their access to zero. The Give Them Access To is split into three separate sections, Projects, payroll admin and business and accounting. Let's talk about the first one, projects. This allows the user to access the projects feature and you need to pay per user accessing the projects feature. So if you're using that functionality, then you need to assess who in your team needs access to this projects. And if I click here, once I have selected projects, I can give them limited, standard, or administrative uh, access to projects and limited. The limited role is read only, but their own time entries can be added and edited. It excludes access to all financial information. Standard, the project standard role suits staff who run projects but don't need to see staff and project cost information. And admin, uh, this role have the same access to projects as standard and includes staff and project cost information. It's ideal for business owners and administrative staff. The next section down is payroll admin. Allow this user full payroll access, including preparing and posting pay runs and payroll reporting. So I'm selecting this and there's only one option there to give them full payroll access, preparing and posting pay runs and payroll access. The third section, is the business and accounting area. Now this is actually what uh, you will be familiar with and what historically um, we have had available within Xero. So I'm selecting. Across the top, we can see um, the different user access levels, which is more defined as we come through. So here we have um, bank accounts and balances with the ability to reconcile and edit lines, non-cash coding, or um, we have the option to enable cash coding, which is something that you would want uh, only an, want an advanced user to use. Uh, we have the option to enable um, the user to add and edit bank account details. For someone with uh, standard user access, they have the um, ability if they want to view and rerun reports but they don't have the option to publish reports or set lock dates. It's just not available to them. And it's already pre-ticked that they can edit settings. Um, and here is the option uh, for managing users. So uh, you can say that this person could invite new users, edit user roles and delete users. Down the bottom here, finally, it has the option to add a personal message. So this is about inviting the new user and letting them know what's going to happen. I'm clicking on add a personal message. The personal message says, hello, Heather, training file, which is the name of the file, would like you to access their account at zero. Training file uses zero to help them manage their business. And you would then put um, some additional message there and click the green send invite button. Um, and that would be sent to the user and they would accept it and then would have access to zero. So I'm going to click on back. I'm going to click back here on the user organization dashboard. And I want to highlight that um, the other options that you can see here, you can now see uh, Heather Smith sitting here. You can see um, the different access levels. You can see the email address, the different access levels, when they last logged in. Um, and if you hover over when they last logged in, you can see the actual date and time they actually last logged in. And on the right side, there's the three vertical ellipses. If you click on them, you can 
drill down to change the different permissions available there. At the top of this dashboard is another tab which says login history and we can click on login history. So login history shows who has logged in and when they last logged in. I'm clicking back here on users and if I uh, am in a situation that I require assistance from Xero, I can click on the button Add Xero Support and that would invite them in uh, and they can access my Xero subscription. So that's just a quick overview of the different uh, settings within the user dashboard.